Hey guys, how's it going? Now, MSI has had an amazing show at CES 2026, rolling out a lot of upgrades all around the corner, including new monitors, new PC components, as well as a plethora of notebooks. In this video, we will be taking a look at the upgraded or the revamped gaming lineup here. Now, why do I say revamped? Let's just say that they understood that it's okay to have a lot of choices for consumers, but sometimes a lot of options can become confusing. So what MSI has done at the core is just clean up its entire lineup to make things very clear. So essentially, you have one lineup that caters to one very specific segment. Of course, at the top, we have the title lineup, which caters to the most premium and the most extreme gaming audiences who just want the best and don't want to compromise even on the tiniest of frames out there. But then when you talk about people who want best in class gaming performance, but don't really want to, you know, show off with their exorbitant amount of money on spending it on a Titan, you can actually go for the Raider or even the newer Raider Max. Similarly, if you're looking for a powerful machine in a thin and light chassis, well, MSI has the ongoing stealth lineup for you. It has been there before as well, and it is staying where it is. Uh, no changes over there. Then on the other side of the spectrum, we have for the budget offerings, the Cyborg lineup. Now, we won't be dwelling too much into the Cyborg series right now because a lot of details are still to be confirmed uh, for what Cyborg holds in the 2026 year. But uh, between the Cyborg and the enthusiast and self gaming setup, we have have what is mainstream gaming in the form of Crosshair and Crosshair Max. Now again, Crosshair has been a lineup that has seen previous partnerships with uh, certain games. Uh, of course, the Rainbow Six Siege comes to mind. <laughs> and that is one of the laptops that we loved reviewing at Nightmare Mobiles. But uh, focusing more on back to the brand strategy, the idea here is that for every price segment, you have one specific brand series. You no longer have the Alpha, the Bravo, the Katana or Thin series. All of that has been gone just to clear up all the confusion msi has just silently shut all those series down now of course you might have noticed that i mentioned crosshair and crosshair max as well as radar and radar max yes you will have a max variant but what that max variant basically adds on is ideally in terms of very slight more power or better configurations so with that in mind let's just talk about the radar series first now of course at the top of the hill is the radar 16 max hx uh, which msi claims is the most powerful 16 inch gaming laptop. Now, why is that? It's because it's pushing out a whopping 300 watts of total power. Now, of course, uh, it does that by combining both uh, CPU and GPU. The GPU, whether you buy the 5080 or the 5090 variant, you get 175 watts of TGP. That's great. It was there in the previous lineup as well. So, I mean, that's just the 50 series for you. But changing from the previous generation of Intel Core series processors, now the newer Intel Core 200 HX series comes with a TDP that MSI is able to push up to 125 watts. So basically at full power, the laptop is really pulling 300 watts from the socket and it's delivering excellent performance. And of course, excellent performance is something that we have always expected from MSI. So that's not really something new here. Uh, but at the CES uh, demo zone, they had a couple of games that we tried out. And of course, the performance was amazing. How much of a difference will we be seeing from uh, the previous generation to the new one is something that of course, we will have to test out when we actually get the products for review. Right now, based on first impressions, the products look amazing. As well as just the CPU spec bump and the overall power output, MSI has made a lot of other subtle changes, but more important changes to the radar lineup as well. Most importantly, being the quick access panel at the bottom of the laptop. Now, of course, if you're looking at the PC market right now, it's not like, you know, you're going to be buying a new RAM or a new SSD, at and least not, not in the year 2026, 2026 of, of course. course. But then again, if you're buying a radar laptop, you're not going to be upgrading your RAM or storage anytime soon either, right? The whole idea here is that whenever you do plan to upgrade, your memory or your storage, the whole process is just super easy. You just simply pick up the lid and just install the new memory in the slot and that's it. No screwdrivers or any sort of tool needed. Now, of course, MSI is not the first brand to do that. Uh, let's be honest here. But then again, I am all in for brands making upgradability more accessible, more easier. And uh, it doesn't really matter who is first or who is second. What matters more is that brands are catering more and listening to the needs of the consumers. And this is really a nice step from MSI here. Speaking of listening to the consumers, a lot of people have been saying that, you know, uh, MSI makes amazing flagship gaming laptops as well. So it's time for them to bring on OLED to their laptops. And well, that's what has happened here. Uh, the Raider 16 comes with a 2.5K OLED panel. And I'll just say this outrightly, just because a panel says 
OLED does not automatically guarantee it being great. Yes, it's going to be better than most IPS panels, but OLEDs have their own categories. OLEDs differ from a budget OLED to a premium OLED. Me saying it won't really do as much justice to us. You really have to try out this panel. Uh, if you can just head out to an MSI store when the units come to India, you'll genuinely see it in front of your eyes. The color calibration here, the overall profile, the brightness, everything just looks and feels so good. Whether you're gaming, whether you're using it for productivity or any sort of content on that panel of course speaking of colors and everything around that radar is something that still is a bit more loud on the side of course you have those rgb right bars and everything of course you can read more about it in the article linked in the description box below and if you have any questions if you have any doubts about it please and please make sure to comment down below till then if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one till then take care